time and I was going to have to do so much bloody sewing, I would have just been a seamstress. What is that? What is that? What? Is oh, that? That's a selfie, dude. It's, it's a... Where are you? Bloods. You idiots. It's a girl. Just a girl? Just a girl? What's a little girl like you doing this fire? A Did you swim? Did you? That's impressive, that is. No, you twat. She's clearly a stowaway. A stowaway? That's pretty troublesome for a little thing like yourself. I think it's our responsibility to return her home safely. Not possible, lads. We're far out, and the captain likes staying near land as little as possible. Oh, ho, ho. captain's not gonna like this. I'm not so sure about that. The captain might fancy her, you know. You think so? Someone's gonna go fetch her doll, don't they? Oh, you do it. No, I'm not doing that, mate. Yeah? Why don't you do it? No chance. You're not sending me. You idiots. The first mate ought to do it. Ah, oh, no, lads. I don't reckon she's in the mood at the moment. She's pouring over the plans. Aye, it's best we sort this out. Well, come on, pick her up now. She can't stay in a pickle barrel. Get yourself up, lassie. Come on, on your feet. <sighs> the ocean's no place for a little thing like yourself, you know. Can you stand? Here. That's a fancy dress. You wouldn't happen to be one of those upper-class ladies we see flitting about on the dock. Aye, uh, it does look like that she's got a pedigree on her, doesn't she? <laughs> Come on now, we can scrounge up some better manners than that. Aye, uh, sorry. The think Captain wouldn't even fancy her. Uh, uh -oh. I am not going back to Captain! 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 Captain, Captain, uh, Captain, Captain. we found... Oh, well, well, we well. stumbled upon her. A girl! Well, that's not supposed to be on here, is it? <laughs> she's a stowaway, Captain. Stowaway, huh? On my ship. She's not very bright then, is she? What's wrong with you? Why haven't you... What's wrong, Captain? I'm not sure. Stupid girl, nonetheless. Silly little puppet. Well, she's quite innocent looking though, isn't she? You boy innocent, you. Innocent? <laughs> Are you innocent? Is that how you plead? Get it off my ship. Off a ship? Like... like in one of the longboats? No. Ah, uh, what you mean to say is that, uh, well... Well, you, you see, she can't... she wouldn't be able to... Throw her into the fucking yes, water, captain, you muck! That's a good captain. captain. Well, well, captain. Well, well cap now, Captain, I, I mean, she's, she's just a girl. And what am I? Uh, right, Get this shit moving, you blokes! You don't have all day to be ogling at broads! Oh, you let the captain get kid. moving, lads. Stay more and get done. You see my point, though. You should know better than anyone that a girl, like, well, I mean, she, she's just a little thing. Little things can become big problems. Oh, don't drag her over to me, really. Can't she just go in the break? The lot of you want a petting suit, is that it? No, ma'am, I, I mean, Captain. I, it's just a little hospitality is all, and... Who knows, maybe she could be useful. Oh, do tell. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe the ship needs a woman's touch. Well, now look, you can't damage this dress. It's quality stuff now, isn't it? And keep the dress. Well, no offense, Captain, but uh, it's, uh, it's got a whole girl attached to it. You know, it's, uh, I mean, it's... It's in these. Oh, put her in the brig then. Yes, ma'am. Captain. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> now, don't be sad, dearie. I apologize for the inconvenience, but this is actually quite a deal. My lady, I assure you, I will take it upon myself and the crew to make things right. I have a plan, you see. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and the time has finally come. You see... Provided that you'd be open-minded to the idea, it's a little much to ask for. But I hope in time you'll, uh, or well, just give it time, Puppet. Wait here for now.
Hello, beastie. I'm here against my better judgment, but it has been feverishly expressed to me that I've been too unpleasant with you. And it was voted by a very loud majority that I should apologize to you. So, can you forgive me for wanting you overboard? Even though it's my ship and my crew and you were... St I'm sorry. So, um, that's that. I, um, I hope my apology accomplished something. What? Oh, yes. I am the Captain Nadal. So you have heard of me. Oh, you thought I was a man. Yes, most do. But that would be my father before me. Oh, we are really doing um, you have questions. Regrettably, I have answers. But, unfortunately for you, I'm on this side of the bars and you're on the other side, so I can just walk away. I've done what I came to do. We are both women. Is that what you think? And so you think I then owe you compassion. You think we're a couple of kindred spirits, don't you? Do I look like I would want anything to do with you? I don't want you here. This will not last long and it will not end well for you. You stowed on my ship and you will pay the price. What did you say? You think I'm jealous? Look at you. Look at yourself. <laughs> I am not jealous of a weak gauche, high-class, self-absorbed, overdressed, self-important, petulant little child like you. I don't care how pretty and ornate and dainty you are to my crew, it doesn't work on me. And you've overstayed your welcome. Whoa now, Captain, hold on. Uh, were you listening in? That's not important right now. Oh, really, you've got to let me handle this. Now hold on now, let's just think of this first. Think about what? So, I takes it you don't like how she's not getting where you're coming from. Is that it? I suppose you could say that. Well, maybe you could show her. Yeah, it's called throwing them off the ship, Gree. Well, that's all fun and dandy, but listen, you could also send a message. Communication. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got it. We keep the girl. Aye. Hold them for ransom. Uh, and we cash out with her daddy's money all while sending a message. Right, uh, that's, uh, that's <sighs> one way we could go about it. <laughs> We're gonna need that dress for proof. So, could we You're just, uh... when you want to be, Greeley. Your father never... I am taking his reputation to new heights, Gree. It's all about reputation. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to undo one of these. Why don't we take her to your quarters, where she can undress more comfortably? Comfortably? It's probably not going to be easy to get all of this off in a small cell, I would think. <laughs> Fine, come on. Behave and I might consider feeding you tonight. <sighs> Grigo, fetch her something to wear. all this nonsense off now. Go on. My eyes are closed. I'm coming in. She hasn't even started, Gree. Here's some trousers and a shirt for the lass. I didn't know how to approach the, um, uh, underneath parts. She can keep her damn undergarments. Get out of here. Yes, Carpen. <sighs> I've never actually seen how these dresses work. I don't encounter creatures like you often. It's a lot of layers. How did you manage to sneak on dressed up this way? 
Ah. And so I've got to ask. Why? What were you trying to accomplish? <laughs> you really are that stupid. Well, hold on now. Before you go defending yourself, you realise how you sound. You wanted to go with your father on his expedition, right? Sail the seven seas, so to speak, the whole nine yards. But dear old daddy didn't let you come with, so you snuck out to get on his boat. And you got on the wrong boat. That's stupid. <laughs> no, it wasn't my ship you got on. It was a trade ship. We were meeting it just outside the bay, because I don't go on land. You were supposed to be a barrel of pickles. That means your father isn't around to notice you're missing. Ugh, damn. What's your mother now? N no mother. Oh. You and me both. No, I don't have a- I Keep on dressing. This is taking too long. My father? Well, you've heard the stories, haven't you? Well, what do you want to know about him? <laughs> he was a great pirate. Maybe not to you, but he was to me. No, he wasn't my actual father. He took me in. His crew did too. A lot of the crew still here were his as well. I grew up on this ship, with these men. So to answer your question from before, I am nothing like you. Where did I come from? You know, you ask a lot of questions. However, I have noticed you're avoiding the big one. I'm not stupid. You must want to know why I look like this. It's always the burning question on everyone's minds. Even in death, after tasting my blade, I've seen men cry out, what is that thing? But as I said, I don't encounter women much. To you, it must seem like I've been cursed by some malevolent god, or whatever the rumor is now. I can't keep up. But that's just it. The most important questions never have a fucking answer. No, I have no idea. It's always been like this. I've always been like this. A monster. But that is why I do what I do. Sailing the seas was all I ever wanted. And to stay far away, out of a world that doesn't see a person alone a human. I might not even be one. I, I'm, I might have never been one. I have no way of knowing. I don't know if I ever will. It's better out here anyways. Away from people like you. Until the wrong one's out. You know, I am quite vexed with you. After everything I've seen, after everything I've heard, the sounds of terror and disgust from those brought before me. I had always wondered what an absolute mess a woman would become when in my presence. The way they'd scream. But you didn't. Why didn't you? Why, why didn't you say anything? I can't even see it in your face. Do I scare you? Then why don't you show it? Pity me? You pity me. <laughs> Your compassion is misplaced. I don't think you're scared enough. I could rip you apart from the inside out. I can make you feel like you're drowning in these tentacles. <clears throat> Greeley's plan is not going to work. Well, because you're not scared. What kind of message does that send? Well, at least this dress is worth something. 
Hmm? Why am I so focused on reputation? You should know. You have one too. Look at you. Look at what you're wearing now. You probably wouldn't wish to be caught dead in these rags. That's your reputation. Well, mine is a little bit more complicated than that. I want to be feared. I want to become how I look. Well, terrifying, obviously. And besides, I don't want what I am to tarnish what my father created. I wasn't even really his. I owe him at least that much for making me feel like I was. So why do you have compassion on me? For what? If I really don't frighten you, then I failed. You realize I'm not letting you leave. Does that at least scare you? Oh, oh no. You know, I should be surprised, but somehow I had a feeling. Look, you don't want a pirate's life, darling. You... you can't want this. You had a chance to be a normal girl. Do you have any idea how badly I wanted that, growing up? People actually want you. Well, no, I said you're not leaving, but that doesn't mean I'm making you a pirate. I'm barely considering making you a prisoner. <sighs> no, I'm not talking anymore about my father with you. I'm not telling you what happened to him. Ugh. Why do you want to know? <sighs> Fine. Sit down. Here's what you need to know. My father. He, he was a fantastic pirate. He could do anything he set his mind to. I watched him accomplish so much. And his compassion, or the way he saw me, he loved me, but I am not human enough and to others, other pirates, other people. I was a monster and he was a monster for fostering me. So first they tried to kill me. It was always their mission to get rid of me. But as I got bigger and wiser and stronger, I could hold my own, but my father was older and weaker, and it stopped being about getting rid of me, but rather punishing him for my life. And one day, when we were attacked, I wasn't able to save him. We wanted to keep his legacy alive and keep his name, so of course I became captain and they became my crew. And this became my ship, and my purpose. So you're probably still pitying me, aren't you? Don't. I can't change the past any more than you can. Pity yourself, because right now you can't change your future. <sighs> you are unbelievable! You realize I can't make a pirate out of you. You have to find it in yourself, and I don't see it. Also, you know my crew is absolutely enamored over you. Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to keep them off you. I'm sorry I'm late. I was just uh, discussing things with the lads. Oh, she's still alive. That's great. You are, uh, uh, what are you two doing then? Right, um, no, she, uh, I'm just interrogating her, laying down the rules and all that. Yes, oh, I have something for this. Hold on. I'm not sure what that was about. Yes, that's Greeley. He's, he's been a lifelong friend and my first mate. Worked under my father until I inherited his legacy. He's never really understood the importance of reputation, but he's always been my rock. He's been quite patient with you, which is starting to annoy All me. All right. Now I know the rum is gone, but I've got something just as good. Wine? Where did you get this? It's all mine. By yours truly. Oh. I think it's a little dry, but who doesn't like a merlot now and again, right? 
You're pouring us both a glass? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, uh, what did you say about having a discussion? Oh, just going over some things, mostly about our guest. How's it? It's very homemade. Oh, yeah. It's got a kick like a mule. <laughs> Real strong stuff. It's vinegary. Oh, that's odd. There's no vinegar <laughs> in it. Right. Um, thank you, Greeley. I don't understand what the occasion is. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interrogating right now. Sure, sure. I just wanted to inspire you. Oh, uh, uh, inspire me to Oh, what? I'll be back. Enjoy yourselves in the meantime. <clears throat> I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, yeah, maybe don't drink that. Mm. So, do you, do you feel inspired? <clears throat> no, no, I have no idea what he's on about. <laughs> he makes me smile, though. The lightheartedness does help sometimes. I'd get lost in my own mind if it wasn't for him. Hmm? Oh, no, no, I, I don't. I don't feel that way about him. I don't approach those kinds of feelings in that way. Um, but speaking of which, someone like you must be betrothed to some rich duke or lord, no? Hmm. But you must have suitors waiting on your hand. Oh, well, you don't seem too happy about it. I wouldn't be either. But I guess I don't have that problem. Quite the opposite. It's more of a finding problem than a receiving problem. But that's not important to me anymore. So what would be important for someone like you then? If you don't want what's set out before you, what draws you to the sea? Oh. I think I know what you mean. All right, I've returned. I've got a nice sup for you too. Pickled eggs, pickled asparagus, pickled olives. What are you olives. doing this, mate? What, what's this about? <laughs> oh, no. You know? Oh, no. You know what? We know. <laughs> Do I know? I'll leave you to it then. Enjoy yourselves and each other. This is going well. Right, so I don't know what's happening on this ship right now. My crew is hiding the rum, my guess, because they're behaving like pillocks. Well, here's your first test on being a pirate, love. Everything you eat from now on is going to be pickled or dried or alcohol. How do you feel about that? No more caviar on toast. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I don't know what they know. He's being... Oh, unless he... He... Oh. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I can't believe they actually tried to... Um, you've got to go back to the brig. Right now. I, I can't say. It's... Complicated. I'm sorry. Temporary issue. I'll sort this out, but for tonight, you've got to stay down here. <clears throat> Strangle them. This goes against my better judgment, but if this is what I think it is, you've got to go back home. You do. You should. I'll figure something out, alright? And figure out accommodation a little less ill fitting for a girl like you. Well, I don't know. I, I can't help but see you that way. I, I know you don't want to be seen that way. <sighs> just, just try to sleep. I am so, so sorry. I really am this time. Um, yeah. Good night, beastie. I'll see you in the morning.